From rocket-powered projectiles to serious weapons of mass destruction, here are 10 of the most powerful and bizarre bullets ever made. Number 10. The Dardic Tround The Dardic handgun was a totally impractical and illogical gun, doomed to failure from the moment it was developed. This tiny bizarre gun had so many basic design flaws that it was never going to work commercially. Nonetheless, the gun was made and it failed miserably. It probably didn't help that the Dardic handgun looked a lot like an alien ray gun. It was designed by a man named David Dardic in the late 1940s, but the patent wasn't granted until August of 1958. If the Dardic handgun had anything going for it, it was uniqueness. At the heart of this gun was a three-cavity cylinder, then used a plastic-cased triangular round known as a tround that looked an awful lot like a styrofoam Nerf bullet. The tround was designed to conform to the internal chamber, allowing the round inside the triangular casing to be fired and then ejected through a large port. This is the only weapon that ever tried to incorporate such a strange design, having the bullet itself contained inside of a triangular case. It was a novelty weapon, but even that couldn't save it from its failure. If you can get your hands on one, it has a lot of value for collectors because it's such a rare novelty item. Number 9. Rocket Bullets Meet the Gyrojet Another failed bullet that came around in the 1950s and 60s back when the world was obsessed with rockets. It was the age of space exploration and the famous space race between the United States and the USSR. Everyone was crazy for rockets and any type of impressive new technology. Capitalizing on this fad, the gyrojet was born. It is a cartridge that looks a little like a 45 pistol round, but it has one major difference in the way it fires. Whereas conventional bullets are propelled down the barrel of a pistol by an explosion, gyrojets were powered by rocket fuel. This allowed the gun to be a lot simpler. The barrel in the chamber didn't need to contain an explosion. The only thing the gun needed was a bit of stabilization for the rocket-fueled bullet. The gyrojet pistol was designed with an angled rocket nozzle that would spin the bullet much quicker than any rifle round. Firing a rocket-fueled gyrojet bullet had twice the kinetic energy of a standard 45 ACP round. Gyrojet weapons were big for a while, but they never really took off. The muzzle speed was too slow and the accuracy was terrible. Rocket fuel simply wasn't enough to propel a projectile on a direct course any further than 40 feet. They were basically useless in any real-life scenario. What do you think? Would a rocket-propelled bullet be worth redesigning, at least for a shooting enthusiast who wanted something different? Let me know what you think in the comments section below, and while you're there, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 8. Puckle Rounds The Puckle Gun was an early automatic weapon with a bizarre design and an even stranger reason. It was invented in 1718 by a man named James Punkel, who tried to sell it to the British military. What was so unique about it, the Punkel gun was designed and intended to fire round bullets at Christian soldiers and square bullets at Turkish soldiers, who were generally Muslim. Of course, this sounds absolutely ridiculous. What in the world were they thinking? The reason, if you can believe it, was because the square bullets were thought to cause more severe wounding, where the round ones would only kill. This may seem totally preposterous, but it made sense to the people who lived in Europe during the time. This was an era when the Ottoman Empire controlled land in Southeast Europe, Western Asia, and North Africa. And as the Ottoman Empire was trying to convert the Christian people in that area to Islam, the Europeans felt that they needed a way to fight back. In any case, this is a truly bizarre weapon that fired strange bullets. At the time of its invention, a standard musket could be loaded and fired three times in a minute by a professional. But the Puckle gun, which was the first stationary machine gun, fired nine shots per minute. It never did see any useful action beyond the 1720s though, as the flintlock mechanism that it relied on was far too unstable. And besides, nobody really wanted a gun that fired square bullets. Now it remains a historical curiosity and notably wacky entry in the history of firearms. Number 7. Lazy Dog Missiles Lazy Dog missiles were a really strange invention used by the United States military during the Vietnam War. Lazy Dog missiles follow the same basic principle that Isaac Newton discovered when an apple fell from a tree and hit him, gravity. In this case, gravity with a very heavy object, much heavier than an apple. Basically, the United States created giant bombs that weren't actually bombs. There were no explosives involved. The Lazy Dog missiles were just solid pieces of steel shape to look like bombs, complete with fins and everything. The US dropped them by the hundreds out of planes flying over Vietnam. This is because the steel bombs could reach speeds of up to 500 miles per hour, meaning that when they hit the ground, they can penetrate a full 9 inches of concrete. Plus, the planes could drop them from around 3,000 feet, which was a tactical benefit. To put this in perspective, one of these bombs dropped on your house would smash through your roof, through your floor, and probably a few inches into the concrete slab of your basement. 
If you were to drop a Lazy Dog missile on a bunker, it would shatter the roof of the bunker, destroying it and everyone inside. This was a cheaper alternative to real bombs back in the 70s. It was like dropping a massive hailstorm of steel into the enemy's lair. It's hard to imagine a bunch of airplanes being asked to pick up and drop multi-ton blobs of steel on enemy combatants, but the strategy made some sense for the Vietnam War as it became increasingly expensive and unpopular. Number 6. Project Thor Project Thor takes Lazy Dog missiles to the next level and then brings them to space. Just like how the Lazy Dog missiles were dropped from planes to destroy large complexes without using any kind of explosives, Project Thor was designed to release a massive rod from a few thousand miles. But not a few thousand miles in the sky, a few thousand miles above the planet. Project Thor would have seen tungsten rods the size of telephone poles or roughly 20 feet long drop from space orbit onto a target on Earth. If this seems kind of silly, just take a minute to think about the kind of devastation a single 20-foot rod would cause if dropped from space. First of all, the rod would reach up to 10 times the speed of sound. That's right, if a steel bomb got up to 500 miles per hour, these space rods would go many times faster. That means the amount of energy released would be hundreds of times greater. It would penetrate hundreds of feet into the earth, which is like a small skyscraper inverted into the ground. The rod would not only devastate a bunker or a secret base, it would create an explosion very similar to the magnitude of a nuclear weapon. The only difference is that there would be no fallout. It would basically be like a comet or meteor smashing into the ground. However, this project never actually saw the light of day. It was incredibly expensive, with a single rod launched from space costing about $230 million. Man-made asteroid strikes? It's a good thing they didn't become a part of our arsenal of weapons. It just seems too close to a strategy that could really result in the end of humanity. Number 5. The .700 Nitro Express The .700 Nitro Express is one of the biggest and baddest bullets in the entire world when it comes to power and recoil. It's a cartridge designed to be used in big game rifles, and it's made by Holland & Holland out of London, England. The .700 Nitro Express was first developed in 1988, and since then it has held its reputation as the meanest big game ammunition out there. The bullet is 1,000 grain and it fires at 2,000 feet per second. This equals an average of 8,900 foot-pounds of force, enough to bring down an African elephant. These bullets are expensive too. A single .700 Nitro cartridge will cost you around $100 each, and if you've never fired one of these monsters before, you can bet you'll walk away with some fresh bruises. It is so big that it kicks back on the shooter with incredible power, so be aware that it's going to hurt to fire one of these monstrosities. Of course, the rifles that use it are also incredibly expensive, at least $10,000 to start. If you've got money to spare and want to see what a giant bullet like this will do in target practice, it will probably destroy the target and surprise you. Don't underestimate this heavy hitter. Number 4. The RIP Ammunition It's gruesome, it's morbid, but it's technologically advanced. This is the world's deadliest bullet. Because of its unprecedented lethality, the bullet has been marketed by its manufacturer as the last round anyone will ever need. And from a standpoint of sheer destructive power, they may be right. The radically invasive projectile, or RIP for short, is an absolutely deadly force. The bullet works to open nine separate wound channels that will take out every single vital organ inside whatever it hits. What does that mean? The bullet splits into multiple pieces by design, with eight fragments piecing off from the main slug to damage the target as much as possible. If used as intended, it has the potential to be as deadly in just one bullet as nine more traditional bullets together. This is what happens when the bullet itself explodes the second that it pierces your flesh and enters your body. The bullet is actually being marketed as a self-defense tool for women who might be living alone or who feel the need to protect their family against a possible intruder. These bullets can go through barriers like rock, wood, metal, glass, and still puncture the target. This is one seriously dangerous bullet with deadly implications. It's safe to say that an RIP bullet penetrating anyone's body above the waist is a kill shot. Do you think products like this should exist? Should they be legal for civilians to purchase? Let me know what you think in the comments below. These are some seriously dangerous tools, so it only means that gun owners need to be even more responsible and careful with the power in their weapons. Number 3. Dragon's Breath Dragon's Breath is undoubtedly the coolest shotgun ammunition you will ever see. It basically shoots a very long streak of fire through the air. It looks more like a special effect than an actual shotgun blast. The Dragon's Breath is in fact an incendiary round used in a 12-gauge shotgun that consists mostly of magnesium pellets. When the Dragon's Breath round is fired, 
It shoots sparks and flames about 100 feet forward. Some claims even put the length of the flame at 300 feet. Dragon's Breath is not really a tactical or combat smart ammunition. It's more for visual effect than entertainment, kind of like a short-range flamethrower. It's definitely more entertaining than a night of cheap fireworks. Alternatively, hunters may use these rounds as a distress signal if they don't have a flare gun. Dragon's Breath can also be used as a self-defense tactic to scare off your attacker, especially if that attacker is a bear. Surprisingly, Dragon's Breath is not that lethal, making it ideal for home defense as well. You can definitely light a person on fire, but it's doubtful to kill them if you put the fire out quick enough. Plus, these shells are super inexpensive. You can purchase a pyrotechnic shell for only about $5. Now, this is the type of ammunition I'd love to use for fun, though it's still dangerous to go around blasting fireballs out of your shotgun. Have you ever fired one of these Dragon's Breath bullets? Drop a comment and let me know what you thought of it. Number 2. Bolo Rounds Bolo rounds are some seriously strange ammunition. They kind of look like bolas, the early Native American ball and chain weapons that were thrown at a person or animal to trip their feet and trap them. The ammunition consists of two or more metal balls connected by a steel wire. After the bolo round has left the muzzle of a weapon, the slugs separate and carry the steel wire between them, creating something like a flying blade. Bolo rounds can literally cut off limbs and other appendages. Imagine shooting a gun and two bullets come out with a razor wire pulled taut between them. It has the potential for decapitating, perfect for zombie survival situations. Bolo rounds can be used in handguns and in shotguns. They are traditionally used inside shotgun shells with two or more slugs connected by a steel wire, but they can also be used in special 9mm rounds. With bolo round shots from a standard handgun, they typically have three center slugs and three tethers that create a fan-like projectile with a huge impact area. As you can imagine, these appear terrifying and are therefore banned in several states. However, there are firearm enthusiasts who doubt their accuracy and effectiveness. Even if these particular bullets are not always lethal, they will definitely put down your attacker with a wider range of impact than a traditional bullet making these an interesting option for self-defense. It's such a strange idea, but the bolo rounds may end up taking over as the standard for future guns. Never underestimate humans' ability to find new technologies for self-defense. Number 1. .950 JDJ Now this is the grandfather of all bullets. A massive monster. It's up there as the largest caliber in the world. The .950 JDJ bullet is one of the biggest cartridges ever designed. It's nearly a full inch in diameter. It weighs about 3,600 grains, and it uses 240 grains of powder to propel the bullet at 2,100 feet per second. Still, these bullets are cheaper than the .700 Nitro Express bullets, coming in at only about $40 a piece. In total, the bullet will generate 38,685 foot-pounds of energy. When it comes to recoil, it's about 13 times more brutal than the 308 Winchester. This will really hurt the person behind the trigger, but that's nothing compared to what it will do to the beast in front of the barrel. The rifle it takes to shoot this round is a minimum of 50 pounds, but there are other versions up to 110 pounds. This is not your standard hunting ammunition. If you have never fired something so beastly, this thing has the power to do some serious damage to your body. I don't even understand what you would want to hunt with such a monstrous bullet. Woolly mammoths? Dinosaurs? Great white sharks? It's really hard to say. To be fair, if the characters in Jaws had used a few of these, the movie might have been a heck of a lot shorter. Which of these bullets did you like the most? Any you didn't? Tell me in the comments below and thanks for watching. See you next time for another amazing video and don't forget to subscribe.